Hey Glam Squad, this is Dalo. In today's video, we are going to DIY a crystal tray. Since we are social distancing, we cannot go out to go buy stuff. I thought I would use the things that I have at the house to try to make this tray. So you tell me what you think at the end of the video. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the Glam Squad family. Here we are all about creating beautiful, glam and happy homes. Please take this opportunity to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified as soon as I upload a new video. My goal is to get to 2500 subscribers by May 9th. I cannot do it without you. Please, please, please subscribe. I'm going to start with this word to create some sort of support for the tray. If you try to do this, you can use anything else that you have at your house that can create the support for the tray. But because I did not want to go out, as I mentioned earlier, so I'm just using the cardboard. That's what was available to me. But a foam board is preferred. I'm going to be tracing this mirror on the board. It's from Amazon. It is 12 inches. Once I'm done tracing it, I cut the piece out. For the board, I'm going to be using this fabric that I got from Joanne. You guys may have seen it on my last DIY. If I was using a black foam board, I would not need to do this step. I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue the fabric on the board. It doesn't need to be perfect because the mirror is going to cover it. Now I'm going to glue the mirror on top of it. I'm going to use my glam wrap from Amazon to cover the space between the mirror and the cardboard. Right now, I begin to glue the acrylic gem on the mirror. I know the angle is not the best, but you're going to see it shortly. There you go, these gems are from Amazon. I will be leaving the links for all the products that I bought online below.
I am adding a second layer of acrylic gems on top of the first wall. As I mentioned to you guys on my past DIYs video, I am not a crafty person, but I'm beginning to really, really like it. And, um, this, and I kept practicing, so hopefully I will be getting better. So bear with me. And forgive me if some of the things that you see are not done perfectly or are not done right at all because um, as I mentioned, I am in my learning process and I'm sh sharing with you at the same time. So be patient, eventually I hope I will get better at it. But I hope you get the concept, so hopefully you'll go ahead and create your own DIY that is much better than mine. I could leave it like that if I wanted to, but I have decided to add some stones at the bottom of the glam, glam wrap to amp it up a little bit. stones I use on my DIY Glam Miwa. Check it out, it is a good one. I'm gonna be using nail polish remover to remove some of the film on the gems that was left by the glue. I am using nail polish remover because since you know alcohol is really scarce right now. There it is, I think it's really cute. What do you guys think? I thought I'd give it some height so I'm gonna try to make some legs. I tried a small stone as a support base for the leg but it wasn't good. It was very wobbly after I put the legs on. I tried the biggest stones and they work perfectly. Very simple and super duper easy DIY. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Please subscribe to help me reach my goal of 2,500 subscribers by May 9th. I am giving away these beautiful glam vases. April 14 will be your last chance to enter. Please check it out. Information will be in the description box. Last but not least, on the screen right now are some videos that I think that you might be interested in. Please check them out. I thank you for spending some time with me today. Please stay blessed and be safe. I love you. Bye bye.